Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to play some Japanese Driftmaster or JDM Rise of the Scorpion Prologue. Thank you to Gaming Factory and for Divinity for the game key. So this should be available August 8th. Not entirely sure when this video is going up, but just keep that in mind, August 8th. So what we're going to do, we're just going to drive around. Kind of show Japanese streets and whatnot. We're driving on the wrong side of the road, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this game is pretty demanding. So I am playing it a little lesser than probably others will do. Because, I mean, you can see it a lot better. But we're just going to try to make do. So, yeah, we were doing this previously. And uh, there was an update that I, for some reason wiped a lot of my progress basically restarting from the beginning so really not looking forward to restarting again but we're just gonna drive around we're just gonna go look at show you the whole Japanese landscape here and I apologize if there's any sort of lag OBS is not really liking this right now so there's like your first mission going there but we're just gonna go we're, we're like right there so let's go over here I don't, I don't think we could do a waypoint so we're just gonna try to figure it out we're gonna play this more like a forza horizon or like a crew motor fest and see what we get into see if things unlock along the way or we just have to progress it through missions but uh we're just gonna drive around and we're gonna do some drift stuff too by the way <laughs> That's the name of the game. That's another thing too when you have uh, games like this where it's like kind of like an open world or semi-open world. You got to contend with a lot of the traffic. Now let's go in here. Let's check it out. I guess we have to enter this side. I'm American so a lot of this is kind of mind-bending. I should be used to it though with Forza. Playing a lot of Forza Horizon 4 in the past, where I mean, obviously, a lot of that's on the opposite side of the road. It's very interesting. It's like one of my favorite things of playing like Yakuza games and Shin moves and stuff is just kind of seeing the world. Uh, I mean, there's nobody here. It doesn't really matter what side. Oh, is the gas station? Can we do anything there? So it looks like these things are probably blocked off for a lot of reasons. Probably haven't been developed yet or just kind of limiting what we can do. Oh, it's raining. Interesting. Our car looks wet. Wonder if we go out. Wonder if the wipers turn on. Uh, we don't want to turn on music. Oh, that's a blinker. I thought there was a button for wipers. I play way too many games, so they're probably not. I think one of the early things about this game that interested me was just the cover art. And, I mean, as you can see, the lime green car that we're starting with. Because, in fact, I actually at one point owned a 2006 350Z. So this is kind of like near and dear to my heart driving this. Now, granted, I never drifted my car because it was my daily driver, but like seeing inside first person and just kind of seeing the body structure and everything man it really takes me back because this is a 350z and uh it really kind of brings back a lot of memories because i don't own it anymore it's kind of like very nostalgic to me i didn't have a lime green one I had a silver one but even still like man i miss driving that thing so it's kind of cool that that's like your starter car and you're thinking about your shops vending machines of course <laughs> Would be really cool if we could get out of our vehicles and go in these places. Again, that's the fun part of like Shemus and Yakuza's and Judgment. Kind of interacting with the place. Looks like there's another gas station over here. A pink car. That's unusual. All right. Another type of restaurant place. Wow. Thunder does not sound friendly. All right. Well, I guess we'll go this way. Box truck. Making a delivery, I assume. Whoa, that lightning strike, though. 
Wow, dude. Pull out in front of me, brother. Alright, what's over here? Interesting. Really cool. I really like the aesthetic. When you're American, you play a lot of games that are fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know. Whoa. That are American based. Something like GTA that's heavily American based. So you kind of enjoy every now and again when you get games like this that are from another region. I really like the weather. Oh God. <laughs> Of course, right when we're in the middle of a drift, we're getting traffic on the opposite side. Let's check out the suburbs on this side. At least that's what it looked like. Would be neat if we actually get daylight, too. So this seems like where we were earlier. Let's go in here. Uh, vending machines. Not unusual. Really wish we had more things like that here in America. Unfortunately, our vending machines are mostly just like snack foods and drinks and like rest stops. They're a lot more prevalent when I was a kid back in like the 80s and 90s. But not as much these days. It's one of those weird fascinating things about Japan. See a lot of YouTube videos that have people visiting and traveling different areas of Japan and a lot of places uh, have vending machines everywhere like there's full buildings of vending machines and it's unusual and fascinating to me to them is probably very common hearing crickets so it sounds like the rain is dying down Of course, we get like a an okay drift right when there's a car in front of us. And we spin out. So here's a school that you can actually, it's like tutorials and whatnot, that you can partake in. Guess we'll make a left here because we can't go forward. Not sure if there's an entrance on that side too, but we'll go over here. What's over here? Like this is always the interesting part about like playing open world games is familiarizing with a lot of the landscape and if there's any sort of unique identifying things in certain areas like GTA has a lot of stuff in Blaine County as opposed to Los Santos County so it's really kind of cool that like you kind of have all these oh Jesus Christ um that you have all these different shops and I wonder if they change in different regions of the map I mean I, I this is like one of the things I love doing in Forza Horizon 4 and 5 whether you're in Mexico or you're in like the United Kingdom, just driving around, just looking at all the little intricate details of everything, what makes it different, sets it apart from everything else. And this hopefully is no different. see if we get something here oh hit the corner hit the guardrail they really screwed it up I feel like it's Sun is starting to come up oh hit the guardrail again dang it I 
I really like the blossom trees. I'm assuming that's what these purple ones are. I could be very wrong though. <laughs> oh, narrow roads. Jesus Christ. You're going way too fast for these roads. A lot of interesting things we just drove right through. All right, so it looks like there's a shop over there. And over here, there's apartments maybe. Pull over here so we're not like in the middle of the road and get hit. Looks like a shop of sorts. Oh, of course, as we're about to approach that side. Uh, can we go in? I don't think we could go in. Yeah, it's not gonna let us. Uh, interesting though, I do like it. Hopefully that's something later on that maybe we can get access to. Again, it's a prologue. It's going to be very restricting because they're still developing the game. I'm not sure when the game is actually going to be released. Very hazy, very foggy morning. Invisibility is pretty terrible. Oh, what's this? Like an alleyway where they... Like a street fair kind of thing? Oh, interesting. I really wish it was daylight. <laughs> you kind of miss a lot of detail when it's raining earlier, or now it's very hazy, very foggy. Uh, we're going the wrong way too, by the way. <laughs> we're going the wrong way on this as well. Of course. I feel like half of this we've probably been going wrong. Let me do some little drifty fish tails. Oh, those guardrails are the death of me. Here we go, we got a decent drift going. Oh, we spun out. Thank you to Gaming Factory and Ford Divinity for the game key. This was JDM, Japanese Driftmaster, Rise of the Scorpion Prologue. Just driving around. I mean, we can't see crap, even if we wanted to do mission. Visibility has been terrible. <laughs> Apparently, it's raining again. Rained all night, and now it's raining in the morning. So, I mean, it really didn't kind of ruin the plans that we were going to make. But we were just going to drive around and kind of see things. But unfortunately, we didn't get the visibility that we wanted. And we're still not, even during the morning. Because it was hazy, and then now it's rainy. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.